Good day everyone. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Please, if you are new to this channel, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. So in our today's class, we'll be making these hair scrunchies. And the materials we'll be needing, we'll be needing a satin fabric, a pair of scissors, one inch elastic band, and the matching thread. So the measurement we'll be using for these hair scrunchies is 10 inches by 44. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into two. That is on two. Unfolding, I mean, I'll be measuring or taking five inches. That is when you open it, it will be thin. So unfold, I'll measure 5 inches and go down by 44 inches. Please don't forget, you can use any fabric of your choice to make these hair scrunchies. You can use Ankara, you can use any material at all. So I'll take my 5 inches, I'll make sure what i'm folding is equal then i will take or i will go down by 44 inches so i'm taking it down again to be sure i have equal length on both sides that is 44 by 5 inches on fold so when I open it up, I will be having 10 inches by 44. I will go ahead, cut it, and come back and show you the next thing to do. Yes, I've cut the 10 inches by 44. Now I will go ahead and fold my fabric again into two. And unfolding or unfold, I will measure 2 inches, that is... When I open it, I will be having 4, 2 inches by 18, 2 inches by 18. That is, when I open it, I will be having 4 inches by 18. So I'll go ahead and cut it as well and come back. And cut the next thing which will be the last thing we'll be cutting so again I will come back to my fabric and I will cut 2 inches by 15 and this will be for the lining I was trying to check if my material here is up to 15. So I will go ahead and mark 2 inches. 2 inches by 15. This is not on food. This will be for the lining. The lining for the 10 inches by 44. I'll go ahead it cut it I will go ahead cut it and show you what is next to do so this is this is our 10 inches by 44 so I'm going to fold it again into two. That is, I will fold it, then it will be five inches on fold. So I will take it to my sewing machine and run a stitch all the way down. Please, don't sew. Just run a stitch along the length. Please, don't sew the width. Then this our two inches, which is four, if... Four, if we do not fold it, I will run a stitch all the way down as, as well. This These are the two. After running a stitch, you can see I didn't sew this two end. So 
So what I'm trying to do, I'll try to turn it to the right side. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to su subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So I'll go ahead and turn it to the right side and I will do the same thing to the one of 4 inches by 18 which will be for our elastic casing. I will go ahead and turn the 4 inches by 18 to the right side. You can use a safety pin to turn yours. I'm trying to turn it to the right side. If you have safety pin, I will advise you use that to turn yours. That will be a whole lot easier than this. Then please you can iron yours after turning it to the right side. Iron it, making sure the line, the, the, the sewn edges are facing up. So the next thing I'm going to do, I will take this, the one of 2 inches by 15, I will take it and slot it through to the one of 10 inches by 44. Here I've seen my safety pin and I'm going to do that with the safety pin. Insert it to the one of 44 by 10 inches. Please make sure you hold it down with something, with a pin, so that it won't disappear inside. I'm trying to slot it in. By this, you will see the scrunchies effect already. So, for it not to disappear in, I will take it to the to my sewing machine and I will run a stitch or I'll just pin it down for for now then after slotting it in in I'll take it to my sewing machine and I will sew the boot end trying to bring it to the other hand you can see it's forming this crunchies effect already. Here we are at the other side. You can see. Make sure it does not disappear at the other hand. So now take it to my sewing machine and I will run a stitch on both sides. Here is it after running a stitch. Here is it. You can see it has formed these crunches already. Has formed the scrunchies already. Oh wow. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to fix our elastic elastic band. So this is one inch elastic band. So I'll go ahead and cut seven inches. Please, while taking your measurement on your elastic band, don't stretch it, don't pull it. Don't stretch it while taking your measurements. Just place your tape 
carefully and cut whatever measurement you you want so this is our seven inches and i will insert it to the elastic casing which is the four inches by 15. Please make sure it does not disappear in at this end. I'm going to hold it down with a pin so that it does not disappear in. Here we are at the other side. So what I will do next, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will run a stitch on both hand. Here is it after running a stitch. You can see it has also formed the scrunchies at the side. So when trying to place it, be careful so that you don't place right to wrong to wrong. Okay, so what I was trying to do here, I was trying to explain how you should not place it. This is not how you are going to place it. No. No. This is not how you will place it. So you take it, bring it to this big side. Then cross it, cross the 10 inches by 44, cross it to the end of the elastic casing and pin it down. Bring the other end, bring the two ends together as well. Here can be a bit tricky, but it is so easy to do. Make sure you are placing it the right way. Cross it and take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch on both ends. I've run a stitch on both ends, so I'm going to pull it out. I'm trying to cut the, the strand of thread. Then I'll pull it. By that, the rough edges will go in. As you can see, you can see it is now, the sewn edges are now invisible. Our hair scrunchies is ready. You can see it is so beautiful. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Our hair scrunchies is ready. So beautiful. It's ready. You can do yours and let me know when you've done that in the comment section.